Hello everyone, in the previous video we started experimenting with Cinemachine and now I will show you how to transition between multiple cameras based on animation states. This is quite handy when we want different view distances when running jumping and idling. Let's get started. So we are back where we left off in the last video. First head to the hierarchy, then right click, Cinemachine and select the state driven one. Then open it up and delete the default virtual camera then drag the current virtual camera under it. So here we can have as many cameras as you want with different settings and it will appear in the state driven camera. Y1 now is a simple transition between two cameras when idling and when we are running. So I duplicate my current one. I'm gonna rename it to run VC and rename the first one to idle VC. On the run camera push the live button now in the game window we will see that one and increase the auto size. It will increase the area we see. Okay, so how can we tell when we are running and when we are idling? But well, we have one system already that works that way, the animator and we can use it in the Cinemachine. At the animated target select the player's animator and at the custom blends add two items with the plus button. At the states Select the first one idle, then the run state and the cameras will be the idle VC and the run VC. So this one is the animator state and this one is the corresponding camera Cinemachine will automatically transition to. Then press start and it works. Not perfect but it does what we want. Now let's fine tune it. So first we have a default blend. It gives you how long does it take to transform from one state to the other. So if I set it to 3, then when I start running, it will take 3 seconds to reach the run VC and vice versa. And then we can create custom blends for each camera transition with its own blend time. Just press the create asset button and save it to a new folder. I will call it Cinemachine Blends. So here we can specify each transition. In this case, if I transitioning from the idle VC to the run VC, I want it to be quick, so I set it a small value like 0.5 to 1. And when I transition from run VC to idle VC, then I want it to be really slow, like 5 seconds long. Then one thing we haven't talked about is the wait and the minimum time. So the wait time is when the animator switch to idle state but Cinemachine won't change the cameras for this time. It is useful when we are running and when we stop we don't want our camera to immediately transition to idle because we just stopped for a second. The minimum time is how long we want before we can do another transition between two cameras. I like it to set it a small one so the cameras can be changed frequently but it's just my preference. Finally I want to show you a pretty useful feature of Cinemachine. We will create a boundary at the edge of the map. We will need an extension called Cinemachine Confiner. What it does, when we are specify a bounding shape, then when the edge of the camera hits it and we keep moving with our character, the camera will stop and only the character keeps moving. So let's set it up. Select the state driven camera at the extensions and add Cinemachine Confiner. We will need a bounding shape to create one. I will create one on the background element. We need to use a Polygon Collider 2D. Hit the button at the Edit Collider and make a rectangular shape where you want the edge to be. Now if you press play it will behave quite strange. The reason is because we have collision conflict. Our player collides with the background. To fix it we will need layers. At the top select the layers and add layer. Create a player and a background layer. Then head to edit, project settings, physics 2D and select the layer collision matrix tab. Uncheck all the colliders with the background, it's just there to have a camera boundary. Then we need to apply the layers to the player and the background. Then press play and voila, it works perfectly. Thank you for watching this video, if you liked it hit the like button and if you don't want to miss my future videos then consider subscribing and see you in the next one.